a character from the Greek engraved or stamped mark on coins or seals. Branding mark symbol may refer to any sign or symbol. History Greek is a nomen agentis of the verb charas, with a meaning to sharpen, to wet hand also to make cake from the pie root star g a cut also continued in Irish jeer and English gash, which is perhaps an early loan ultimately from the same Greek root. A is thus an engraver originally in the sense of a craftsman, but then also used for a tool used for engraving and for a stamp for minting coins. From the stamp, the meaning was extended to the stamp impression, plate O using the noun in the sense of engraved mark. In Plutarch, the word could refer to a figure or a letter, Lucian uses it of hieroglyphs, as opposed to Greek grammata, Herm. 44. Metaphorically, it could refer to a distinctive mark, Herodotus, 1.57, using it of a particular dialect, or, 1.116, of a characteristic mark of an individual. The collective noun characteristics appears later, in Dionysius Holocarinocensis. By Latin character, Old French character, the word passed into Middle English as character in the 14th century. Wycliffe, 1382, has two HAUE a character in her full Revelation 1316, for the mark of the beast, translating imprinted or branded mark. Grapheme. The word was used in the sense of letter or grapheme by William Caxton, referring to the Phoenician alphabet. The Phoenicians were the fierce to new and hours of characters differencing that one fro that other, of which were forum letters, four to write, in Edo 6.25. As in Greek, the word was used especially for foreign or mysterious graphemes, such as Chinese, Syriac or runic ones, as opposed to the familiar letters, in particular of shorthand, in David Copperfield, chapter 38, sarcastically of shorthand, a procession of new horrors, called arbitrary characters, the most despotic characters I have ever known, and since 1949, in computing. See character, computing. As a collective noun, the word can refer to writing, or printing in general, Shakespeare's sonnet in R59. Since mind, at first in corrector was done, the easy. Since thought was first put in writing. Esotericism and magic. Further information, diabolical signature. The word in Renaissance magic came to refer to any astrological, cabalistic or magical sign or symbol. Related is the sacramental character of Catholic doctrine. Famously, John Dee designed his Monas Hieroglyphica in 1564. In the 19th century, the sense of the word appears mainly in Romantic poetry, such as Sir Walter Scott's Slay of the Last Minstrel, 1805, where a Hallowood taper shed a glimmering light slash on mystic implements of magic might, on cross and character and talisman. 6.17. Semiotics and Epistemology. Further information, sign, semiotics. From the esoteric or mystical meanings, early modern learned authors abstracted a notion of character as a code or hierarchical system that embodied all knowledge or all of reality or a written representation of a philosophical language that would recover the true names lost in the confusion of tongues. This idea had currency as a kind of epistemological philosopher's stone for about a century, from the mid-17th century, with Francis Lodwick, 1642, and John Wilkins's essay, Towards a Real Character and a Philosophical Language, 1668, to the later 18th century, and the Encyclopedia, where in a long entry, under the heading Characteray, Lambert critically reviewed such projects of the past century, 